This is regular glass. This used to be the 20 gallon mixed reef. Today I'm going to show you how to build and set up an external refugium gravity fed. An external refugium gives you a little bit more of a benefit than one that's not external and gravity fed is even more key. The idea of having it gravity fed now will allow any pods or any microfauna that are growing that are living small won't get chopped up by a pump. They will flow down into the tank. So the first thing I did was I used my old five gallon LPS tank, gutted the inside, and I'm gonna convert it into a gravity fed external refugium. I saw this online, it works really good. These are polarized sunglasses and when you put the computer monitor behind the glass and turn these, see how they're getting darker, right? That means this is regular glass. If it was tempered glass, it would show bands of gray and white through there. What you have to do is cut a hole in the glass a little larger than your bulkhead. If you really want to get something clean, paint thinner is better than acetone. Acetone will clean it up, but not really take stuff off. I'm going to drill the hole right here. Let's go down to the garage and cut the hole. All right, guys, we're down in the back cave. Here's my plumbing tools. What you're going to need, you're going to need a hole cutter for glass. This is a better type but the hole is not big enough. You need some plumber's putty, and what that'll do is I'll put that around the circle so I can fill this up with tap water, and I'm gonna fill the hole with water, and we're gonna try to cut the hole through right about there. The bottom of this will be the, where the water starts to overflow. All right, so that's that. I have to go in at a little bit of an angle. A little water. Okay, once you get it going, I have a little groove there. I'm kind of locked in. You let the saw do the work. I am not pushing down that much. where the hole is drilled first of all it's real close to the top but that's not gonna matter water will not come up there water is probably only going to come halfway up I could have made the hole a little bit smaller here but I could not get the hole saw in the diamond bit to match the size of the bulkhead it'll still work if it makes noise, it's not going online. I'm not going to do it. I need quiet in here. The only noise you hear in here right now is light fan noise by the 16 HD. It's going to take the place where Sylvia and the kids are, right up here again where my five gallon LPS was, and then it's going to go, I'm going to cut a hole in the back corner and it's going to gravity feed and it's going to go probably at a 45, come down behind there and it's gonna enter into the tank at the display area, not in the sump, because then any pods or anything will have to go through a pump to get here. It's going to be one inch pipe, and that's why it's key that it doesn't make any gurgly or water noise coming in here. All right, it's gravity fed because the pump will be down inside this compartment in the overflow box, and it pumps the water up into the refugium, which will be up here. And then it forces the water down the overflow, which will come down here and into the display. So if the refugium pump goes off, only the water that's left in the top of the tank will flow back in here. So if you're attempting to do an external refugium gravity fed, you wanna make sure that whatever water flows over the overflow and back into your main display, you have room to carry it in your main display.
fish see me over there, they're getting hungry. When I walk over there, they start snooping around the top of the tank. The tang and file fish, I have a little news on them. The tang is getting more yellow. The oh, tang is yellowing up, guys. I noticed a change in the last several days. He's really getting nice and yellow. Look at him in there. For this size tank, and what I'm gonna use it for, I don't have to be real neat, and I don't have to do my technically skilled method that I did with the 75 gallon. All I want is a nice seal. There's my blue tape. Oh, there it is. Real quick for the new viewers, this used to be the 20 gallon mixed reef. It's now housing the tang and the file fish. Up here is where the refugium will go. Here's the 75 gallon AIO that I built. Over here's my 10 gallon. This is gonna be maybe a frag tank. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> 